Hello, my name is Shakisha Etnis, the founder of Tracy Incorporated, a corporation that is designed to empower and educate the youth that are affected directly and indirectly by drug and alcohol abuse and HIV and AIDS. As a 12 year old seeing my mother struggle with a drug addiction that affected her directly but me indirectly affecting me emotionally, I know and understand the youth that are faced with this today. Having no one you can trust, turn to, feeling alone and abandoned, as time goes by, anger and resentment builds up and you become bitter. As a child, I carried a lot of weight, being a mother to my siblings, walking the dark streets of Martin Luther King Jr. Drive in Atlanta, Georgia, looking for my mother at 3 a.m. in the morning, going in dope traps, risking my life to save hers. The one thing that remained the same was the love for my mother and I never gave up on her. I prayed and begged her to stop using drugs, but nothing ever stopped her until I let go and let God. After three years of drug abuse, my mother finally surrendered and signed herself into a 30-day drug rehab, only to find out a year later that she was diagnosed with HIV. My mother was devastated and wanted to die but I told her that she can make cause God will see her through. She attempted suicide at the Five Points train station but a man who I call her guardian angel shared his story with her. He was a man living with AIDS for 10 years and as stubborn as my mother was, she said, if you can live, so can I. My mother was introduced to support groups by this guardian angel to help her stay clean and serene. My mother had a made up mind that relapsing was not an option for her. My mother, who is now deceased, had 11 years clean. She was a single mother of three, drug and HIV peer counselor. Tracy Incorporated is named after my beloved mother, Tracy Edmonds, a woman who overcame child abandonment, physical and emotional abuse, rape, single parenting, drug abuse, and HIV. Tracy Incorporated presents women overcoming the purpose of Women Overcoming is to help women across the nation overcome weight. How many of you want to lose weight? You're tired of feeling fatigued and overweight. I know you think I'm talking about physical weight loss, but I'm also talking about the emotional weight that is connected to the physical weight. In December of 2009, I was in a depression state, overweight physically and emotionally, tired, stressed out from dealing with so many different struggles but I cried out to God because I wanted to be free and lose weight. I am an emotional eater that eats off every emotion. I needed the help of my higher power. Through me making a decision to lose weight physically, I realized a lot of my weight came from stress and not loving myself, and last but not least, insecurities that were developed from my childhood. God gave me a three-part series for women to successfully lose weight. Part one, women walking with weights, being weighed down. Part two, detox, the shedding of emotional weight. Part three, weight training, women overcoming. If you have a desire to lose weight, I encourage you to join Women Overcoming, where we lift, support, and encourage women across the nation during the process of losing the weight. Thank you.